Hello guys, welcome back to my channel of software automation experience. So in today's uh, video, I am going to explain you about how to write uh, output data into a CSV file in JMeter. Okay. So, so to do that, uh, we will uh, make use of a simple Groovy script and uh, yeah, achieve this uh, writing data to CSV file. So for that, let us follow the uh, steps. First step will be to read the path where you are going to store the csv file okay so for that let us go to our uh, jmeter suite and see yeah this is the jmeter suite which i have already developed and shown you guys in my previous uh, video so i'll give you the link in description if you want you can uh, go back and check that okay so i'll make use of this existing uh, test suite where uh, I will uh, write the data to CSV file and show you guys how to achieve that. Okay, so for that, let me uh, to achieve the first step, uh, let me go back, go to the source folder first. So, here let me uh, create a path where I want to write the output data, the CSV file. Okay, so let me create a new folder that would be the I'll name it as output data and then inside this folder I'll create one more folder called data so I want my CSV file to be stored in this data folder okay for that uh, let me first uh, create a config property to pass this path to the JMeter suite okay if you open the config.properties you can see uh, all the details i am passing it from here the protocol application protocol the ip address and then the port everything okay so let me add one more uh, config property here that would be output data path okay now i will pass this path as the value for that uh, variable okay we do not forget uh, forget to change this uh, backslash to forward slash jmeter would not understand if you keep the backslash okay so now uh, let me write some code to read this path in jmeter so this is my HTTP request. I will. I want uh, at the end of uh, the run of this uh, test case, I want the data to be stored in a CSV file. Okay, some data. So for that, let me add a post processor. So I would choose uh, JSR two two three post processor and. This is the place where I'll write simple Groovy script to write the data to CSV file. Okay, so uh, let me read the path and store it as a def variable path. Okay, that path is equal to what I'll do is I will, uh, as I've defined this variable as the config property, I'll just read it as as dot get. and pass it so that i'll uh, read the path till output data and the path is extended till the data folder okay so what i'll do is i will uh, extend this as well to read this folder and as the specified path okay and we'll store that in a variable called path so next step is to fetch the data to store in a csv file so yeah i would uh, need some data to store into a csv file so what i will do is as this http request will uh, check the health care health check of uh, the applications deployed at different cities in different states okay so what I'll do is I will uh, make use of I'll uh, read this city value and I'll I want
want to store all the city names into the csv file my out as my output data as uh, this is just an example you can make use of any of the output data as well based on your output okay so to write the city names into the csv file what i will do is so let me create a string variable called data and i will read the city the value of the value for the city variable after the execution of each request okay so that will be stored as a data variable and yeah so next step is create a csv file so how to create a csv file using ruby so we have a new file you need to pass the path so this is the path value which i have stored here till the data it will fetch it and then path next write the csv file length that would be any name of your choice output csv and now i will store that uh, csv file as a some def variable Okay. So this way we will create our script will create a csv file called output.csv in a path specified okay the next step is to write data to csv file now to write the data to csv file groovy provides us a method called append so let me just read this uh, csv file dot make use of append method to pass the desired data so this is the data i am getting i am fetching from the request okay i want to pass that data and store it into a csv file okay yeah so this line will store the data into single line in csv file okay now i want to store the data into means each city into a separate new line so in that case what i'll do is let me just pass the new line character okay <clears throat> that would be the backslash n that's all so this way uh, on execution this will store the data into csv file so yeah next thing next step will be to run the test now to run the test i would want to uh, read uh, this config uh, property which i have newly defined into our test plan okay so go to test plan click on add add this value and so this value i want to read it as a property from config properties file okay so that's all save this and uh, yeah now execute this test case, uh, test case run this test case so that and see whether it will it has stored and the city names into a csv file okay so let me to execute this let me clear all and then click on step by step debugger twice as we know there is a bug in jmeter which will not load uh, the properties from config properties file if you click on it for a single time you need to click on it twice to load all the properties from configure properties now click on start button and see check the uh, web results tree so you can see all the requests got executed and yeah that's all how we run the test case next is check if data is returned to csv file so for that what we will do is we'll go back to the output data folder 
data folder at the the if you can see there is a uh, output.csv file written open this and check if the data is written here okay this is output.csv file where you have uh, you can see all the city names has been written as the output okay so this way uh, we can achieve uh, uh, the writing data to a csv file so yeah that's all guys uh, if you have any queries any doubts you can write um, in my comments and then uh, uh, if you like the video please uh, click on like button and subscribe to my channel software automation experience yeah and uh, stay tuned up guys thank you